Hello, my name is Glenn Vienna. I'm in Trust Software Engineer, and I'm here to go over the VMware vSphere with and Trust Key Control Integration Guide. This guide is available on our documentation website, slash documentation I'm using for this demo the VMware vSphere 7.0.2 and also Entrust Key Control 5.5.1. During this demo, I'm going to go over how to create a KMIP tenant in Key Control, starting with key control 5.5, multi-tenancy is supported. So to be able to create a client certificate to be used during the integration, we have to create a tenant in key control. Once we create the tenant, I'm going to go over creating a certificate so it can be used during the integration to establish trust between the KMS and the center. Then uh, I'm going to go switch to the center and go over the process of adding the KMS using key control, establishing the trust using the certificates, and we will end the demo with a attempt to do an encryption on one of the VMs in the center. I hope this is something that can be used for you to be able to use these two products together and do this integration. The first step in the integration between this center and key control as a KMS is to create a tenant in key control. Starting on with key control 5.5, multi-tenancy is supported. So to be able to create a certificate to use on the KMS setup in the center, uh, we need to create a tenant. And once we have the tenant in key control, we can create the certificate bundle that we can use for the integration. So I'm here at the key control administration uh, URL. I'm going to log in using the administrator user. Okay, and then uh, we're going to go to KMIP. I want to show that KMIP is already enabled here. Okay, we have enabled KMIP. So you're going to click on tenants on the tenants tab here, and you're going to do actions, create KMIP tenant. We're going to give it a demo, uh, a name. Okay, I'm going to call this vCenter demo. Uh, you can give it a description if you want to. Just press next. On the authentication tab, there are two types of authentication that we support. Local user authentication, where the users are managed by key control, and also managed authentication, where you can use an Active Directory server, YDC, etc. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use local user authentication. Okay. Press Next. On the Admin tab, we're going to fill in the information for the administrator of the tenant. So I'm just going to click go. go. Full name, I'm going to give them administrator. Email, I'm going to give a uh, uh, demo. We'll call it demoadmin.com, and then we'll give them a password. The password expiration needs to be uh, at least one year, so I need to change that to go to. We'll do, May 31st here of well, almost a year. Okay, we press create. And the tenant gets created successfully. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is click on the vCenter demo here, which is the tenant that we just created. Okay. And you're going to be able to see the details for the tenant. And there is a URL here the tenant login URL, that's the URL that you're going to use to be able to create the certificates. So I'm just going to go there and do another tab here, paste it, and we're going to log in there. And you're going to see that the login is a little bit different. You're going to see KMIP sign in. So the tenant login is different from the administrative login on control. So I'm going to put my user here that I created. I'm going to log in. As you can see, uh, I'm on the KMIP uh, interface now for the tenant. Uh, you have three buttons here for the objects for security and all it logs. On the security, you can add other users. So I'm going to click on the users tab here. And then you can, if you want to add 
other administrators, you can just add another user here. You can also add users, which is going to be just just have the audit privileges. So you have to use an audit policy for that. So um, you, the, the users for the tenant is going to be managed through here. OK, so that's how you create a tenant to be able to uh, create the certificates. The integration between vCenter and KeyControl is that we need to create a certificate bundle to establish trust between the KMS in vCenter with KeyControl. So to be able to do that, you need to go to your uh, KMIT tenant login in KeyControl. So you're going to go to uh, the URL for your tenant and you're going to log in. Okay, now that we are logged in, we're going to click on security and then client certificates. There is no certificate yet, so we're just going to add one. So we're going to create, we're going to give a certificate name. Let's call it this center demo. Okay. You're going to select the expiration date that you want for your certificate. And you can encrypt it if you want to. But that's all you have to do. And they say create. And it creates the certificate right here. Okay. Uh, you can click on it to get the certificate details. Okay. And then also to download it. So we're going to download it. Okay. Now we have the file here. So. This file has two files. I'm going to open up so you guys can see it. It has a CA certificate.pem file and, the, and another one called vCenterDemo.pem file. So we're going to use these files to be able to do the trust between uh, vCenter KMS and KeyControl. We are back here now and we're going to go over the next step, which add KeyControl as a KMS in vCenter. Okay. So I'm here logging to my vCenter instance. I'm going to click on uh, host and clusters here. And I'm going to select my vCenter uh, server. And I'm going to go on the configure tab here. And on the security, I'm going to select key providers. Now I need to add key co the key control cluster as a KMS here. So we're going to do add standard key provider. We're going to give it a name. Let's call it key control. And we're going to put the uh, node one, give the name for the first node of the cluster, the IP address. They need port. And we're going to add another KMS here. We're going to call it node two. This, this is the second node on my uh, key control cluster. And I'm going to give the port. OK. And then uh, everything else, if you have a proxy configuration, you can set up here. And if you have password protection, you can also set up here. But I'm going to do add key provider. And this make vCenter trust key provider uh, dialog comes up with the information from the nodes on my key control cluster. I uh, say trust. Okay. Now that I have trusted, you're going to notice here that uh, it's not connected in the certificate. There are two certificate issues. So the next step would be to add the certificates so the KMS cluster in the center can trust the key controls uh, cluster. We added the KMS to this center where we use the two uh, key control nodes, right? And we, we saw that uh, the KMS was not connected and the certificates, we had certificate issues. So on this step, we're going to resolve this problem by establishing the trust between the KMS and this center. So if you select the key control the KMS that we created here, and then uh, you're going to see the two nodes at the bottom 
the nodes that we added for the KMS. These are the key control nodes. We're going to click the first node and we're going to do establish trust, make KMS to us to be center. Okay. Now there are a few methods here that you can pick. We're going to select KMS certificate and private key. Okay. Now we need to upload the, the certificate file and the private key. So uh, we can establish a trust. Remember, on the previous section, we, download, we downloaded the certificate file. And uh, we're going to pretty much use one of the files that was inside that zip file that we downloaded. So we're going to do upload file for the certificate. We're going to go, I, I put them here. And here's the zip file that we downloaded. I unzipped them and we have this the CA cert and also the certificate and private key here. So we're going to do this. We sent the demo file. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing for the KMS private key. Pick the same file. Okay. And then we're going to establish trust. And as you can see now, the KMS is connected to the control. And uh, there are no the certificates are valid and we are ready for encryption. So now the center is set up with a, uh, with the key control as the KMS. What is the encryption needs? Testing encryption. So in the center. So the KMS is properly set, as you saw in the previous section. Uh, so now let's test it and see if we can encrypt a VM, for instance. So I have this test VM encryption here. It's a VM. Make sure the VM is part off before you do this. So you're going to right click on it and it's going to go to VM policies, add VM storage policies. Okay. Uh, you see that my data storage default for the storage policy, I'm going to change that to VM encryption policy. Okay. And you press OK. And uh, you should see as a task here uh, the reconfigure virtual machine here going on. And this is moving the VM to an encrypted state. Okay. Uh, let's give it a, a second. So it finish, the process finishes. So we're back here. Uh, the VM has been encrypted and uh, you can validate that by looking on the summary tab. Under the VM hardware pane, there is encryption and you can see that the VM configuration files are encrypted. Hard disk is encrypted. So that shows how the encryption took place. It's to see what happened on, on, the, on the key control side, you can go to the KMIP tenant uh, site, log in, and then uh, if you click on objects, you're gonna see the, the key that was created here. Okay, you can click on the key to get the details of it right here. And also you can go back on the KMIP tab and click on audit logs. And you're gonna see here the operations that were performed for, with the key. Okay, uh, so it shows here everything that took place. So this shows how the center is using the key control to do its encryption uh, <coughs> tasks. It's a very small example, but it's a way of validating that everything is working. Thank you for watching this demo on VMware vCenter and in Trust Key Control 5.5.1. The integration guide is available on our documentation site, www.entrust.com/documentation. Again, thanks for watching.